2020 is a big year for Yamaha Motor. We're celebrating our 65 year anniversary. That's 65 years of making great recreational products for people to use on their weekends. So today we're going to show you through the, the early models that we've got from Yamaha and uh, we'd like to take some time and run you through them. Yamaha first started working on the commercial PwC in 1983. The first concept was called the Power Ski. Basically it looked like a surfboard with a 25 horsepower jet motor on the back of it. Now the interesting thing was it tested great in Japan, but when they took to the USA, the test rider there was over 100 kilos and over six foot tall, the thing just didn't work. So the engineers had to go back to the factory and come up with a new concept. And basically what they presented in the next range of testing was something like this, Marty. So what we've got here is the Wave Runner 500. It's the world's first sit-down ski produced by Yamaha. I mean, what they were aiming for is more stability, more practicality, and for it to be enjoyed out on the water for a, a wider variety of people. The coolness part of it too, I mean, they, they really did design the new set of PWCs from Yamaha to be, you know, a motorcycle type riding experience. And you can see from the colour and graphics as well, it's lended itself from the mid 80s to the late 80s of, uh, of motorcycles that we got to ride and enjoy. Again, it's a very unique ski. Um, it's a first of its time, and it was the first solo ski. So to be ridden, um, you know, by a single participant, and more so resembled, you know, the hull dimensions of the Superjet. You know, a 32 horsepower engine, twin cylinder, two stroke, premix. And it's got a really unique design here. Just looking at the seat, I remember when I first saw this craft, you kind of wonder what's going on here, but you can really imagine pulling this ski up into a beach somewhere and just kicking back on this kind of lounge setup. And, uh, and relaxing, it's a pretty unique style of ski. Now being a single rider craft, it really formed the basis for what was coming next, which was onto our blaster range, which was a little bit later in the 90s, but a very exciting style of craft. All right, so we've gone through our Wave Runner 500, our Wave Jammer 500, and now we're up to our blaster era style craft. Marty, this is a pretty exciting looking, looking unit. It is, it's the next generation solo ski that was developed by Yamaha. And essentially it's, um, the essence was motorcycle riding on the water. So what they ended up doing was putting on uh, motorcycle style handlebars, motorcycle style seat, you know, funky coloration. This is uh, the blur pool, they used to call it. But um, again, in 1993, it was something that was uh, never seen before by any other manufacturer and it really set the sports riding. And the style of riding on this craft was completely different to what we'd seen before they really went for aggressive leaning style riding on this, on this unit. Yeah, they did. I mean, the hull itself is just a little bit longer than what the original Wave Jammer 500 was, but what they ended up doing, they, they upped the ante from uh, the horsepower, so it went from 32 horsepower up to 63, 700 cc's. And uh, it was one of the first oil injected models. All right, so we go from the original Wave Blaster to the Wave Blaster 2. Now, Marty, what was the differences between these two craft? Again, Yamaha up the ante. I mean, from Blaster 1, we went to Blaster 2 back in the mid-1990s. And uh, the factory itself, they went through six to seven different concepts before they landed up on this production model. And again, you know, they wanted to make sure that it was accessible for more riders, so more riders could get the sports rider type feel. And, um, you know, they, they beefed up the motor. It went from a 700 to a 760cc twin carb. It was a really high torque really good accelerating craft out of the water. And then you get um, some really cool things like the quick shift trim system. So when you want to explode, you know, out of the water and, um, you know, and it had really good acceleration and it was really well received here in Australia. So they went from a, a smaller craft to a big craft, but not only that, they upped the power of the motor to deliver that exciting style of riding. Why do you think it was so popular in Australia? Well, a lot of the guys here in Australia, they, they particularly like to do surf riding. And because it was um, light and nimble and uh, accelerated out of the hole really well, that was just the fun aspect that um, a lot of the guys enjoy. Now, people still talk about this Wave Blaster 2 everywhere we go. The interesting thing is, it really set the standard for, for smaller craft and smaller exciting craft of riding. Now, generally our skis, through the evolution of what we've been seeing here, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But what this has actually done is encourage a new generation of smaller skis. So when you look at something like our EXR, which is a smaller unit with a nice big motor and performs really well, that's really an evolution of this Blaster 2 and still good fun for those guys who like to ride in the surf. So cool to see the way that our units progress from very basic up to advanced to where we are today.
So we've come a long way, you know, back from 1986. And I think um, being the 65th year anniversary, I mean, you know, we've, we've seen so many cool and new models that have come through the years. And I guess, you know, in time and in the future, there's a whole bunch of stuff, I guess, that Yamaha is going to be releasing, right? Yeah, it's exciting. It's great to celebrate our 65th anniversary. Thanks for joining us through a walk through Yamaha's museum here in the foyer of the Brisbane office. It's been great to show you through a couple of our older craft. We're excited, 65 years, it's a huge milestone and there's lots of exciting things coming.